Have you ever seen a movie trailer just to go to the theater and accidentally buy tickets for a similar movie that you didn't realize was out? Or how about when you see commercials for two movies that seem almost identical? In this video, we'll explore why near identical movies get made and released at the same time. Welcome to Movie University. On this channel, we explore a variety of topics in the movie entertainment industry, so if you like what you see today, consider subscribing, liking this video, and supporting the channel. Near identical movies pop up from time to time. This is called the twin film phenomenon, two movies that have very similar storylines that come out around the same time. For the most part, one of the two films ends up being very successful, while the other is quickly lost to the sands of time. It's something that has been happening since the beginning of Hollywood, and it happens more than you think. For instance, you may have heard of Gone with the Wind, but have you heard of Jezebel? Both are about Southern women during the American Civil War. While Jezebel came out first in 1938, you've probably only heard of Gone with the Wind that came out the very next year. Too old for you? How about this one? You know of Top Gun, but have you heard of Iron Eagle? Both came out in 1986, and both are about fighter pilots trying to become the best. Still not ringing the bell? What about Olympus Has Fallen and White House Down? Or Approaching the Unknown and The Martian? So why does this happen? Sometimes, real-world events and anniversaries will spur a movie. For instance, 2017 had both Churchill and Darkest Hour. Both were about Winston Churchill leading the United Kingdom during World War II. While Churchill was released five months ahead, nearly no one has heard of it, while Darkest Hour went on to have a very successful theatrical run. Another example of this is the five-year anniversary of 9-11. In 2006, World Trade Center, United 93, and Flight 93 were all released within a few months of each other. Sometimes, studios will just copy each other. A studio knows Dwayne Johnson is making a Hercules movie and they go, hey, we have the rights to another Hercules movie, and The Legend of Hercules is in the public domain. Wouldn't it be great if we could get ours out before they do? This tactic is called first to market. It's when a studio learns a movie is being made about a topic and realizes they're sitting on a script that is similar. They greenlight their script and speed up production, hoping they can get to the market first. This benefits both studios, as they can each piggyback off the advertising campaign of each other or one studio massively benefits off the marketing campaign of their rival studio making a similar movie. Other times, studios will just straight up steal from each other. During the 90s, Jeffrey Katzenberg helped the Disney create movies such as Beauty and the Beast and The Lion King. When he wasn't named Disney's second in command during some company turmoil, he left Disney and went to work for DreamWorks. However, by the time Katzenberg left, Pixar Studios already had a bug's life underway for Disney. Claiming ignorance to all this, Katzenberg pitched a similar storyline to DreamWorks and Ants was born. Both movies are computer animated and are about ants who are non-conformist, fall in love with princesses, leave their colony, return, and are hailed as heroes. While Ants came out first, A Bug's Life would make more than double at the box office. What's your favorite pair of twin movies? Have you ever heard of some of these lesser known twins? Let me know in the comment section below, subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to support the channel. This is Movie University, education and cinema.